They say that most people get cataracts eventually. Is there anything that can be done to prevent them or at least delay the progression of them? Yeah, cataracts actually are the number one cause of blindness in the world. You know, because a lot of the world's not privy to cataract operations. So the prevention of cataracts is really important. First is nutrition, okay? Now, again, antioxidants are important because they've shown that um, you can, if you don't have, you can have oxidation happening in the lens of your eye and therefore causing what we call glycation, the proteins uh, binding together. So we want to do uh, vitamin C. We want almost all cataracts have been shown to be low in a nutrient called glutathione. So we want to build glutathione levels. And do you recommend supplementing glutathione, or are there things you can do to increase your body's glutathione? Well, also? there's foods. Right. But I mean, supplemental-wise, alpha-lipoic acid, N-acetylcysteine, selenium, those are the building blocks from glutathione. But onions, garlic. Um, leafy greens. Leafy greens. I mean, other things to help build glutathione levels. Um, and, and how about meat? I think I, I read some of your writings about <clears throat> limiting meat. Well, meat, you know, when we talk about meat, you know, if you're going to eat meat, I always say good organic meat without mm -hmm. the uh, chemicals and the antibiotics. But some people's diet works a little better on meat. Some people don't. I'm primarily a vegetarian. My wife is a meat eater. My daughter is a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. My son's a meat eater. Everybody's constitutional type will be better in a balanced way. But uh, dairy, excess dairy can help cause cataracts. But one of the number one causes of cataracts is the sun and also possibly our computer screens and our phones. Because our computer screens and our phones will emit blue light. Blue light being the shortest wavelength and therefore the highest frequency can cause a photo oxidation and, and break down uh, the the lens of the eye. And that's why there's a higher incidence of cataracts in people who live on the equator than people who live up in Norway because it's the sunlight. So what do we want to do? We want to make sure we get good sunglasses that block ultraviolet uh, rays. And in when we're working on the computer screens, let's say blue filters on our computer screens and blue filters and special lenses of our glasses. That's a new coating that you can get now on your glasses. Yes, a yes. Blue you can actually get lenses that have blue filtering capabilities or you can get a coating put on your regular prescription. So I feel like almost everybody who's going to be uh, working on a computer, if they wear glasses while they're working on the computer, and even if they don't, they can get just a blue filtering uh, blue frequency filtering glasses. And is there a blue filter that a blue filter screen that you can put on your computer as well? Yeah, like a, like yeah. A and you can actually there's some apps you can do, but in terms of optical principles, I usually like it better when it's on the eye. But if I don't have glasses, yeah, you can just get a pair of glasses that just have the blue filtering lenses in oh, them okay. without a prescription. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I totally recommend that. Okay. And there's a, a lot of different companies that carry that now. Great. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Mark You're Grossman. Welcome. If you like what you just saw with Dr. Mark Grossman, come back to our website. We have a whole lot more videos with him and with our other great experts. And do me a favor, do the social thing. Share it. Tell your friends, tell your family. It's great information for all.